Today, I can tell you that after six years, India is at the center of the global energy affairs with the growth potential in terms of the energy demand, growth potential in terms of the renewables and also green hydrogen, I think India will be at the center of uh, global energy affairs. I would very much hope that India helps the, uh, the North and the international financial institutions to help the developing countries to facilitate their clean energy transition. I don't see India emerging as a global leader in clean energy uh, and green hydrogen since you mentioned that, you know, today India is at the center of global energy affairs. Yes, I came to... Uh, uh, India uh, almost every year, sometimes two, three times a year. But I remember uh, that uh, six years ago, I released a major report here with the ministers, India Energy Outlook. And six years ago, as a result of our analysis, I said India is set to be a center of the global energy affairs. And today, I can tell you that after six years, India is at the center of the global energy affairs, a major uh, country in terms of solar energy, pushing uh, green hydrogen very uh, strongly, and also huge potential for uh, green hydrogen across the uh, country. So uh, with the growth potential in terms of the energy demand, growth potential in terms of the renewables, and also green hydrogen, I think India will be at the center of uh, global energy affairs. So just last question, uh, we are also currently seeing that there are global energy crises due to Russia-Ukraine war. And since India is the chair of this year's G20 presidency, how do you see India's position and how do you see India addressing climate change uh, issues? Yeah, of course, uh, India has a big responsibility this year as the G20 presidency and as a leader of the global uh, south. When it comes to climate change, it will be at the center of the G20 negotiations. But I would like to see and I, what I would very much hope that India helps the, uh, the north and the international financial institutions to help the developing countries to facilitate their clean energy transition for renewables, electric cars and energy efficiency. And I am sure India can uh, succeed it.